Hello, I'm Chris from TechSpurn and today we're reviewing the Nothing CMF Buds where CMF stands for cheap mother f and absolutely does not, by the way, in case Colin Core decides to sue my bollocks off. These Bargainers True Wireless earbuds cost just 39 quid or a mere 31 pund on Amazon right now, making the Nothing CMF Buds one of the most affordable ways to have audio spaffed right into your ears. So let's do a quick unboxing and then we'll magically whip forward in time a week so I can deliver my in-depth review. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So first up, what do you get stuffed in this teeny wee box? So you've got your nothing CMF buds neatly stashed away in the dinky carry case. You've got three sizes of silicon tip, small, medium and large. And you've got yourself a quick and simple user guide which basically links through to Nothing's app and just gives you some basic instructions on how to get started with the CMF Buds. So, welcome to the future. I've been testing out the Nothing CMF Buds for just over a week now. And spoiler alert for the rest of this review, I really like them. For this sort of price point, they are impressive tech. So I've obviously got the black pair can also grab the Nothing CMF Buds in white, as well as a radioactive orange hue that will certainly attract multiple glances when you're on the tube. Sadly, there is no transparent option with the Nothing CMF Buds, which is kind of Nothing's trademark design. So these earbuds just look a bit more standard, I guess. Yeah, you'll need to upgrade to Nothing's regular buds for a bit of all that. Now, the Nothing CMF Buds are incredibly light. They're pretty comfortable to wear for sort of two, three hours. Then I start to get a little bit of ear fatigue after that. But yeah, they do feel very cheap and plasticky because they are, basically. What else do you expect at this sort of price, really? But you've got the three sizes of silicon tip. I found the regular ones that come bunged on there by default fit perfectly, nice and snug. And these buds didn't move around too much, only really when I was eating or talking excessively. And just to demonstrate that fit, let's have a bit of the old mosh test. And these buds are pretty rugged as well, especially at this sort of price point. You've got IP54 splash and dust resistance. They can also survive extreme temperatures, crazy humidity, which would basically be pretty useful when the earth becomes an uninhabitable wasteland. Now you've got Bluetooth 5.3 support here on the Nothing CMF bud, so you can hook up up to two devices at once, your smartphone and your laptop, for instance. And I found that pairing with my Android phones was nice and quick and easy. You've got that Google Fast Pair support, etc. And when you do get paired up with your smartphone, I highly recommend downloading the Nothing X app, which is available from the Google Play Store and Apple's App Store. This gives you full control of your Nothing CMS buds. So, for instance, if you head into the settings, you can update the firmware, manage the connections, etc. And from the main screen, you can check on the battery life of each of your buds. You can play around with the noise control and tweak the audio output, more on that in a bit. And you can also fully customize those touch controls. Now there's no single tap controls here on the Nothing CMF Buds. You've only got a double tap, a triple tap, or a press and hold. And I've got to say the default control setup here on the Nothing CMF Buds, bit random. So you can double tap either bud to skip forward a track. You can triple tap either bud to skip back a track. And you can press and hold in order to toggle between the different noise cancellation modes. But of course, with that setup, there's no way to quickly or easily pause your music for one. So I've changed it up in the settings. So double tap on either the left or the right bud will pause or play your music. You can then triple tap the left bud to skip back a track. Triple tap the right bud to skip forwards a track. And last up, tap and hold the right bud to bring up the smartphone voice assistant and the left bud to toggle those noise controls. I also introduced volume controls for a double tap and hold, which works you know, pretty well. It's surprisingly intuitive. So I found that I got used to the touch controls here on the Nothing CMF Buds nice and quick. You've got full noise feedback as well, so you know that your pokes and prods are actually registering. And rather impressively, given the budget price here as well, you've got in-ear detection. So if you were to yank out a bud while you've got a podcast or music or whatever playing, that audio will pause. And then when you bung it back in there again, it will resume. There is a bit of a delay, I've got to say, when you, when you do yank out a bird, you'll generally be waiting a couple of seconds for the audio to actually pause and ditto again when you chuck it back in there. It just takes a wee while to work out what's going on. It's kind of similar to me after a few cans of special brew. As for the audio side of things, well, again, expectation levels should be set reasonably low because these are budget-friendly earbuds. Well, nothing has stuffed some 12.4mm drivers into each of these little buggers, but you do only have SPC and AAC codec support. 
but they certainly do the job for a bit of casual listening and you know podcasts and audiobooks sound nice those vocals come through nice and crisp and clear but certainly if you're an audiophile you'll want to bump up your budget because you don't get all of the the crisp little detail coming through that you do with more expensive true wireless earbuds and I, as I mentioned before, jump on into that Nothing X app again, and you've got full customization over the audio. You've got that Dirac audio tuning as usual, various presets you can play around with depending on what kind of genre you're into. Otherwise, if you jump into custom, you can bump up the bass, the treble, the mids. And personally, I found the default sound mode was the best for a variety of genres. You know, it's a nice, well-balanced approach to it all. But then on top of this, you've also got the ultra bass boost feature. You can switch this on and then scale it up and down and it does definitely make a difference when you boost it up. You should certainly have any bass fans creaming their kecks. And then further impressing at this budget price point, the Nothing CMF Buds also sport a bit of active noise cancellation. And I thought this was actually surprisingly good. Again, at this sort of price point, you knock on the active noise cancellation, it makes an immediate impact on any traffic sounds or other background bullshit going on. Helps to drown all that out, keep you in your nice little peace bubble so you can really enjoy an audiobook or a podcast without having to boost that volume all the way up and potentially buggering your hearing. And obviously it's not as effective here on the CMF Buds as it is on a pair of say Sony Buds that cost you know, three, four, five times the price. So certainly if you find yourself stuck in a London tube most days, you're probably going to want to, again, bump up your budget. But just for you know strolling down a high street with cars, roaring by and things like that, it definitely makes an impact. And I found that even if it was rather gusty out, I didn't get any wind feedback, which sometimes you do get on these more budget-friendly earbuds. My only real complaint is that the transparency mode is strangely ineffectual. It still very much feels like you've got cotton wool bunged in your ears. So every time you actually want to chat with someone, you're best off just removing them entirely. Now, the Nothing CMF Buds also boast a quad mic setup, so they can clearly pick up on your voice if you're on a bit of a phone call. Remember those? And Nothing has also added its clear voice noise cancelling tech, which is supposed to muffle out any kind of background noise going on all around you. Of course, if you come up against some really extreme background noise, like the simulated speed and traffic sounds, then the vocals do get kind of left a little bit in the mix, but it's fine for just your general everyday background shenanigans. As for the battery life, well, you've got a 45 mAh capacity battery stuffed inside of each of these dinky buds. And I found in my test, and that'll give you just over six hours of playback without the noise cancelling switched on at all. If you activate the ANC, that drops to just under five hours in total. And sort of average, but still fairly respectable performance overall. And frankly, I wouldn't want to have these bunged in my ears for longer than five hours anyway, because as I say, I start to get that old fatigue. And when you're done with them, just bun them back in the handy little carry case that comes bundled and the actual case itself will recharge the buds roughly three to four times in full before this also needs power and back up. The case is decent, you've got a pretty strong magnetic connection there to help keep the buds in there, though if you do drop the case then yes, the buds will come flying out and probably bugger off down the nearest drain. And yes, like the earbuds, the case itself feels rather plastic and cheap because, again, it is. In one corner you've got a spinny bit so you can kind of use the case as a fidget spinner type thing if you so desire. Otherwise you've also got a wee lanyard loop in there although you don't get a lanyard included. And while the case is quite boxy it's not quite as nicely rounded as some rivals at least it's pretty dinky so it does slip into a pocket or a purse or whatever without too much of a struggle. So yeah, that in a nutshell is the Fresh Do Nothing CMF Buds, which as I say, at this sort of budget price point, offer a pretty impressive range of features. They're not perfect by any means, the, you know, the audio quality will not impress any actual audio files out there, but just for the everyday casual listener, certainly do the job. You've got the ANC on there, the transparency mode, less than great. You've got full touch controls. So yeah, this sort of price point, you will struggle to find better. Anyway, that's what I reckon of the Nothing CMF Buds. Be great to your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do put subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. And have yourselves a ruddy, wonderful rest of the week. Charles.